I feel, you know, that there is an uptick in crimes, and I know that that's happening, but that's not unique to Oakland. Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao is back from a trade mission to Vietnam, but she returns to a city that's seeing a spike in crime. Arguably, I would say that crimes would be even higher than it is today if I were to have cut in my budget the programs for our after-school programming, for our summer programming. According to data obtained by the I-Team, there's been a 27% increase in robberies and a 19% increase in carjackings year-to-date from 2022 to 2023. Mayor Tao points out that homicide rates are down, but the local chapter of the NAACP is calling for city leaders to declare a state of emergency. A state of emergency? I am the mayor of Oakland. <laughs> this is why I was able to call the governor directly, and this is why we now have the resources of their CHP here in the city of Oakland. Mayor Tao says the CHP has successfully been working along the freeways and in some high-crime areas. She also states that Oakland has the highest number of police officers in uniforms than in the past three years, and they're working on ways to increase the police department's capabilities to investigate. We're talking about how do we free up our officers, you know, whether it's civilianizing some positions, you know, so that we can get more officers doing more investigative work. But there remains one key vacancy, chief of police. Mayor Tao fired Chief Laron Armstrong in February for allegedly failing to discipline officers for misconduct. She says the process to hire a new chief begins with the police commission. Their job is to actually go through the hiring process and they are to refer three top candidates to my office. To this day, I have not yet received those referrals. Oakland is facing a historic deficit. In light of that, Mayor Tao reminds residents that the city didn't cut funds to violence prevention and got $1.2 million from the state to fund technology upgrades. She understands the sense of urgency, but says change takes time. Although this is a hard moment in time, this too shall pass because we are now in the phase of implementing. But I promise you that you will start seeing some of those results as we move forward towards next year. In Oakland, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.